Hello there, Bernadette Doyle here. Today I want to talk to you about business burnout and really be open with you, speak from the heart, because this is something that I've noticed coming up for some of my clients, for members of my community, and I just think it's really important to talk about it and I want to share with you my perspective on some of the reasons that this occurs and what you can do to avoid it or move through it if it's coming up for you. This came about because someone actually messaged me on Facebook today and she said, I'm still recovering from business burnout. And I also had a conversation with someone else this week who was reluctant to set goals. And as we sort of delved into it a little bit, what became clear was that one of the reasons she was very nervous about stating a goal, even a relatively conservative goal, was she had a fear that the goal would somehow overwhelm her. That if she started working towards that goal, that it would only be a matter of time before burnout, you know, kicked in. And I can relate to this because I remember a period in my life, it was just around the time that my first child was born and I was at a conference and they talked about having these big, hairy, audacious goals. And I realized my goals aren't big or hairy or audacious. My goals are small, bald and downright timid. And I realized that I was really like keeping a foot on the brake about what I was going after in business, about the vision that I was creating in my business, because I was really nervous about what I was getting myself into. And that was because by that stage of my life, I had a fairly, you know, established track record in the hustle way of getting things done. So I was someone, you know, set a goal, get to work, make it happen. And sure enough, I made things happen, but often at personal cost, personal cost to my own health, to my relationships. I also shared in a Facebook post at one stage about a time that I missed part of my uncle's funeral because work had got in the way. So certainly I was now at this stage in my life, having just had my son, I was going to be much more discerning about what I would say yes to and what I wouldn't. But I've realized since that that track record in hustle was had sort of established to me that the way to achieve things was through hustle. And clearly that's not true. Like the people who've achieved the most in life are not always the greatest hustlers. Okay. I know we've got Gary Vee, but let's set him aside. But most people who've achieved a lot in life don't do it through hustling the whole time. They do it because at at some point the hustle gets replaced by systems. And I say the word system stands for save yourself time, energy, and money. But you'll never give yourself the opportunity to even discover what those systems are if you're not setting goals in the first place place. And so if you are reluctant or have been resisting setting goals, because you've been telling yourself, if I set a goal, I'm setting myself up for this, you know, this fast track to hustle, then I want to offer you a new way today. I want to offer you a new way to think about it. And so know that there is a way for you to achieve this result that you dare not even name right now. You, you, you're feeling it inside, but you think, God, if I say it out loud, I'll be unleashing these sort of demonic forces. That's not true. There is a way for you to get that without you hustling. There is a plan for you you that is perfectly aligned to who you are that works for you for all of your quirks you know and if you're someone like me I can't do a full-time week I have not been able to do that for a long long time I don't even know if I was ever built for a full-time week even as a student coming out of university I don't think that's ever really suited me and yet nevertheless I've been able to find ways to be productive to get things done and it's by tapping into systems so if you are someone who has resisted setting a goal because you think by setting a goal you're inviting yourself onto a path of burnout then I'm I'm here today to assure you that there is another way the other thing I wanted to say on this topic this is something else I've observed recently when I see people going after goals in my programs and again they get into that hustle energy and start to burn themselves out there's something that I've noticed and it's that they're taking action but their action isn't backed up by an aligned belief. So what do I mean by that? So person might be saying, well, I'm going to take action. I'm going to start reaching out to potential clients, or I'm going to go and make myself visible and valuable in the air, in the arenas where my clients are already hanging out. That's a piece of advice I give to my students. But if they're doing that from a point of view of like, I don't think clients are out there, I don't think people want to buy, rather than face that belief, what they'll do is they'll just overcompensate by taking really action. And we can tell when it's going on, because what's happened is they're starting to feel 
tired, there's a frantic energy, they're taking lots of action, but they're not producing results. So if you can relate, listen up, because I'm going to show you how to address this. Know that if you're taking action, but your beliefs aren't aligned, 100% you're putting yourself on a track to burnout. So the thing is to not stop taking action, but to make sure that your beliefs get on track. And one of the things that I do for people in my Get Clients Make Money program is I give them a set of questions every day to really check in. It's like, where am I in my belief today? So on a scale of one to 10, how much do I believe in my ability to produce this result? Or how much do I believe that this result is inevitable for me? And sometimes that might be a one, sometimes it might be a 10, sometimes it might be somewhere in between. The number doesn't matter. What the number, the number is data. We talk about data, not drama. So the number is data. It's like, it's giving us feedback. It's like taking a temperature check. This is where you are today. And then it's an indicator of like, okay, what do you now need to do from this place? So if you currently are at a two in your belief in the results, the thing to do is not then to dive into action to try and compensate and to kind of like action your way to becoming a 10. It's to go, okay, why is it that I don't believe that? Why aren't I at a 10 yet? What, what is, what's the reason that I'm only at two? And it's to actually explore that and explore your thinking there and to get some clarity around that and move yourself up the scale so that you are at a 10. So by the time you're taking action, you're taking action that's fueled by belief. If you take action and it's fueled by a lack of belief, it is going to put you on a path to burnout. I wanted to share this with you because I have a sense that some people watching this might go, oh, okay, now I get it. That's what happened to me. That's what happened when I signed up and I did that program and I worked really hard, but I didn't get the corresponding result at the end. That's why you took action, but because your belief wasn't aligned with your action, that's why you didn't produce the results. The thing to do is not to say, oh, I'm out of here. I'm not setting myself up for all that burnout again. The thing to do is to go, aha, okay, data, data, not drama. I learned from that experience and now I'm stronger, I'm wiser and I now know that I can move forward knowing that there is a plan for me, even if I can't see it yet. And this is one of the things that I say to myself. I know there's a plan for me, even if I can't see it yet, I trust in the plan and I'm willing to take the next step that's in front of me. And by doing that, and by doing that over and over and over, that's how you achieve your goals, but you do it without burning out. I hope this has helped you. I'd love to hear your input on this. As you can tell, this is a topic that's close to the heart for me, based on my own experience, and also, you know, through seeing clients, some who've come with a track record of burnout, and I'm really wanting to help them to show up and reach the people they're meant to serve without burning out. Burnout isn't part of the plan. <laughs> like if you're burning out or you're experiencing burnout, it's it's a signal that something's already gone wrong, like you're off track and it's a time to course correct. So I'd love to hear your comments on this. Do share them below. Please spread the word about these videos and I look forward to seeing you on a future video too. Take care.